team. Today we're doing a fun workout. I'm going to show you the modifications that I like for handstand push-ups, and I'm going to show you a little quick secret on burpees to a target that, that might help you, maybe you won't. How this workout is supposed to go. You're supposed to go hard, but not so hard that you can't accomplish the work. What I mean by that is if you are not good at running and you decide to sprint the run and you're breathing so hard you can't get upside down, you probably ran too hard. You should be able to perform this and everything should be at a challenging pace. So not a max out pace, like full send where you can't do the next piece. Just go hard on the run, but only hard enough to where you can go hard on the handstand pushups and only hard on the handstand pushups as you can go hard on the burpees. And then you get to rest two minutes between every single round. The open is just right around the corner and I always recommend practicing the standards. So when you get there, the standards aren't absolutely impossible and you're not getting frustrated. First off, you should already have a box on whatever thing you do handstand pushups. It might be the floor, it might be a pad right here. Just go on CrossFit.com, the games. You can look at the standards. And for strict handstand pushups, there was a box and you just have to be extended. However, on kipping handstand pushups, there's like this forearm thing and whatever, and you gotta do a bunch of stuff. Uh, we don't have that line here, but I'm just gonna show you some things that you should focus on real quick. I know I'm barefoot, it's crazy. I'm trying to do more, my physical therapist told me to. So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna bring your toes down like this to your shins, and you're gonna make sure your feet are together at the top of your handstand pushup. The reason we do that is during the open, there's a line that you have to get above with your heels. If you are pointing your toes like this, it brings your heel down the wall, and you actually wanna bring your heel as far up on the wall as possible, especially since your shoes are a little pointy. So let me show you what I mean by that, and also, again, feet together. Let me show you a few bad reps. I'm gonna show you one. I don't wanna do that many handstand push-ups. So what you don't wanna see is when we're here doing our kipping handstand push-ups, we don't want our feet out here. I'm not even gonna do another rep. I'm gonna show you where I want your feet together and toes down. See how high that makes my heels? If I'm here, it's super low. I'm probably not passing that line. When we're here, toes down. What I wanted to talk about, most everybody who's following this program knows I love a dumbbell push press for a handstand push-up modification. However, what I see a lot of when I see these videos and when I see my athletes in person is when we're performing that push press, we are walking out and we're not ever showing control. When you're doing a push press of any sort, it should always look smooth, which means you might need to turn your aggression down to make the rep look smooth. You, I could push press heavier weight than the 15s, but I'm using the 15s so that you can see how you wanna make them as smooth as possible. Let me show you first what I see a lot of is dip in just, you just almost snap those elbows. Instead, you wanna control the rep so they're as smooth as possible. So they do catch here and you are pressing the rest of the way. You don't wanna just snap your arms. You wanna control. And that's gonna mimic your kipping handstand push-up a whole lot more than just snapping those arms. So whatever way you choose, make sure it's as smooth as possible. When you're looking for a six inch target, my favorite way to do it is just get a measuring tape to six inches and the standard is your middle finger with your arms overhead. So we're gonna go find a six inch target. I already know we did this earlier today. So feet are together. Boop. You're gonna reach over, retract those scaps down, reach overhead. As you can see, I'm like right there. It's a little bit taller, but that's okay. Now here's the secret. You wanna chalk up your hands before you start, and you wanna actually practice a few burpees before you even start this workout, to see where's the best position for your hands so that when you jump your feet up, you're right underneath the bar. If you're behind here and you reach up, it's gonna be further away, you might miss, you're gonna to have to look up, your neck's gonna be real tired. And I actually found a secret, so I'm gonna have Domo, my camera guy, he's gonna come right here to 45, and I'm gonna show you a little trick that I did today that helped a ton. You just have to make sure you touch the bar with both hands. It doesn't have to be a fingertip, just has to be both hands. I found that it was a whole lot easier to hit the bar with the back of my hands. So again, you get to actually see some of my chalk here from earlier. So I know my hands are gonna come here, and then when I come up, I'm underneath the bar, and when I jump, I don't even have to look. I touch the bar with both hands. What you don't wanna do is have to look up every time. You wanna just be able to go down, come up, and touch that bar. And that's gonna help with the speed of your burpees without getting your neck all cranked. And it's just a three rounder. It's gonna be good. Try to move fast, try to move as efficiently as you can. If you can put the whole standard and the tape and everything on your handstand pushups, please record those. Those of you doing dumbbell push press, record that so we can see it as, as smooth as you can get. And that's the workout. If you enjoyed this workout, you can do more of it down below. Competitive female training, you get seven days for free. If you have any questions about this workout, comment down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.